Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 17 of my Let's Play of Bloody Revolution Story Times. I'm Avatopia. Uh, this is an AI game. Well, me and AI. Me, playing as me, with two normal AIs as a team taking on a third AI. And it looks like we are overcoming this. So, I, I landed it so we pick where we want. I landed just on him and we had like a duel to the death at the start. He then pulled away. I was like, maybe half court health. And he's not really had a chance to get into it. And yeah, I think we're actually going to win this. I think if he started on his own and wasn't trying to build this close, say like he started here and we didn't have that death duel, I think he would be not stronger. Looks like the AI is going to get him, the normal. So we can always how. There he is. How big are they? Now? Holy fuck. Yeah, we definitely started for the absurd growth. I think it's more the way I landed on him. Yeah, this is absurd AI. This is a team normal. This is a team normal. This is me. And that's built. What? What? How's it built? No. I'm going to build some energy things here. There's a real top of some forces. It looks like we've got him. Huh. If we win this, this game, I will, like last time, re, re look at the thingy. Uh, that we play a little bit with you and we'll try and work out what went wrong. I think it's, it's that start. To me, he had a huge bad start. I had a bad start, he had a bad start, but we had, I had two team members with good starts. That's what's done this. I, I'm honestly thinking if he had started, I don't, well, actually, this planet might be too small for that. Maybe it was just mean one AI, or if he started, I think, I think if he started here, he would have no resources. Yeah, I think it's a good planet. The combination of this planet, him being stifled, and it's giving the, and the distraction from me is giving the AI, normal AI, just, just to get up there, and he's now don't have a chance. You know what? I don't want a piece of that. And then getting that, probably dying in a nuke. We started this fight together. We'll end it together, you two come with me. They're too close to blow up. He's doing pretty well though, considering. Like completely onslaught. Engaging enemy commander. Why is my colour be changing? Blue them. I get third roll. Go. I want some of that. Look at him, he's on the run again. I'm being hunted. Down at Commander. Enemy Commander detected. I should go back. They're hunting him down. I ain't gonna keep over him. I can't just slow his ass. They're hunting him down, we're taking his base out. Come on, you. Get through energy things up. I think if he somehow survives, we're gonna send him out and finish him. He's on the run. He doesn't have that much to go. He can start base here. He's very low on resources, though. Engaging. He did a good job hanging in there, though, isn't he? Enemy commander. Yeah, we... I would help kill him, but it's too close. Yeah, he's got him. That's kind of my plan, because it's some miracle he doesn't. Okay, you, uh... Nope. This is what I came for. I don't know why I put it at angles, but whatever. We built then, I'll give him plenty of that. And then the second one, we'll use advanced deed, and then I'll be able to get units to kill him. If he's still alive, he probably isn't. He's been hunted. Where is he? Where's the enemy commander? He's hanging in there, barely, but he is. Oh, he's burning him. Come on, there you go. I can honestly say I beat the air the first. <laughs> Even though, granted, it wasn't exactly fair, and I think it was more to do with how the game started and you're looking. Maybe it was a bigger planet, it wouldn't have happened that way. Or if I stuck to the green things. Might try that next time, maybe. 
We'll see you next time. So let's look at a uh, review. No. Yeah, stats. Do stats first. Then go to review. So what we got? Build efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if you have any build at the start because we're too busy battling it out. Now production. Yep. He's definitely on the low side. Demand. Yep. It's, it's a start screwed him up. Even for the uh, uh, AI, the RTS, Bad Star can screw up for like the best AI. But shows uh, how absurd it is, because like I said, he was in there for quite a long time and he was still flinging things at us. And I was still building stuff and he was actually starting to surpass me. But because of the normal being so far up at that point, they just kept rolling in there. And he's built too close, so he was literally sending stuff into my... I, get, I wouldn't say a brick wall, but theoretically to him it was. You know, my turret, wasn't it? So I already had to get up because of him having to run and start later than me. That turret is... Yeah, he didn't really have the ground, so that's a problem. If he started from the ground, he could have wipe, probably wiped me out or wiped the others out. And that would have been the key. If I could hang in there long enough while he wiped the AA out to get my big energy up, what obviously would have been related to this episode, and my upgrade you did, um, the not factory did the gatherers, and get some good units out while he's doing it with AI, then I might have had a chance. If he went straight for me, I would have lost. And in, in this particular game, he would have gone straight for me, because as you saw, he, he was. It's just, start with, you will start with two commanders, it's completely even. And he basically, you know, I'm going to win this barely, or get no damn explosion here. I'm moving, he ain't moving off this spot. Because at the end of the day, if I did die, I would have nuked him in, in the process, so won the game, all his mate AI buddies would have won the game. So I had more to lose, so he st stood down. I lost. Again, I don't know what the commander rate thing is. Unless it's how often you click the commander? As a recording this, if you've already asked this question, I believe in the last, not last episode, the episode before, if you've already put it in the comments and explain what this means, thank you very much. Um, and the reason I still don't know is because I've actually recorded this for about two hours later, or two or three hours later than that episode. So you know you're seeing it weekly, and it's like a three weeks have passed since I asked that. I've at this point in time, I've not edited this episode uh, uh, or anything, and, and I've not gone up it together at all. So basically, I'm doing it the same night. So if you already have uh, put out comments, thank you very much. If you haven't, what does command rate do? My new theory, like I just said, maybe it's how often you click the commander. <laughs> okay, close. What review? Let's see how this started. Where do I come down? Oh, here we go. So we can at the same time that was his bad thing. So we look boom! And the internal one was on. Speaking of which, how was how was his my buddy doing? Yeah, I'm fighting for my life until I see, and he's already got his first one up. And his buddies, even, even sooner. So they're sharing here, but they're friends. Like, this is the uh, absurd AI. He's still battling me, he's not building nothing. That's why you've got two normals on the same side. Look, they're on the second building now. This stage. He hasn't built a single thing yet, but either have I. And now, even I'm building something quicker than he is. I wonder if his build speeds are so fast. Like, how is he a third? Okay, so at this point, he's got his first building up. I'm halfway through mine. We've got two up. Already getting some kind of, whatever that is, a radar roll. I'm a really bit of radar. Huh. Okay, so that's what the AI goes for early. Oh yeah, both sides. So he's already got almost three factories up, it seems. Fabricate a bar, a vehicle factory. Yeah, he's got all his buildings straight away. His main ones to produce, and he's got a radar. Ah, oh, interesting. Is this gonna go any faster? This has been the same, so like, what makes him absurd at this stage? He's not built, I expect him to maybe build three buildings at once, or is he cheating to do it? Or he'll be building it quicker? Is he just more efficient then? So at this stage, because he does overtake me, I do know that. 
by this stage. So I've not really watched all this. I've been only 18 minutes. Basically, you see it last episode. I'm just interested to see what he did. And his first thing is to build the tank, send it out. Oh God. Look, he's still not building a second thing. The stage. Like these, three, fourth buildings. One, two, three, four, five. We've got a flying unit. Okay, the third AI is not. He's like he's confused what to do because I shipped him off that. So I get to me at this stage. I expect as soon as he started building, he would have been like this, you know, got a second one up, a third one working on. But he's wasting his own time right now. Oh, he's looking for this. He's gotta be. I think he would have been better building. Building and getting his first unit out to build that. Oh, he has, he has, he actually is doing that. Oh, he's looking for a power spot. Okay. But look, he's on one, two, three items at the moment. I've already got four, five, six, seven. At least. I'm actually out building the city at the moment. Well, obviously, if you compare me to normal AI, not a chance. Not a chance in blood of hell. Well, now he's finished, he's just standing there. Are there AIs just doing nothing at this point? No, they're still fully on building, the normal. Both normal commanders are still fully on building at this point. He's in breaks. Yeah, I understand he's got pushed off. But I think he's, he's confused, he's like, he doesn't know where to build. And of course, the one thing they have built, what they did, he put too close to me. Sorry, no, 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 he built it, didn't he? That, that's new, isn't it? So, I just knocked him back a peg even small. You know, he's over here, I was thinking, you know, he's going to have about five buildings up here at this point. They're going to be units rolling in. I don't want some white built like there, but at least I'm knocking him down from his five belt and yeah. He's on two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, hmm. What was this for? Where'd I locate it? I'll move this up a bit more. Okay, this obviously is looking more like the base it should be looking at around here. But now let's compare this to the normal AI and me. See, look, at this stage, I would, would you say he's overtaken me at this stage? Well, I think for resources wise, I don't think he has, has he? But for the heart, one, two, three top buildings. One, I'm going straight for advanced. So I think he has overtaken me ish here. Units definitely wise, but look at the combination of this guy. And I think he's a bit of the slow side, compared to Pink. Yeah, he's not really catching up. Hmm. He's not really gaining forces, because he's just producing ones or twos. Sending them straight, I guess, towards me. And I'm just picking them off. Picking them off. I said, he's got this right here. Why not build a bunch here? Because, look, no one's attacking him. They'll be getting stronger, they'll be like one, two, three. You know, getting stronger so they do come, we can hit them. And then send them all in. They'll probably take us out. I just think knocking him off this completely screwed him up. He, he didn't know what to do. The yeah, air got confused, it had to. Because building straight there, I guess that's reasonable. If you could build that there, get some units out quick enough, you could take this corner and probably push me off it early. The fact that I was trying to do the same with you is why I build these here. But obviously, then to keep sending them individually up here when you get so many odds is stupid. Can I shoot that if they're not being built? 
And for some reason, this won't shoot this. It's just out of its reach. So that's smart. But the fact they keep sending them here, then I keep shooting. Yeah, because this is only one, isn't it? It should only be juicy from it. Well, it's from this two, I guess. But the focus is this one. Why not the focus on this one and getting the units? And the question, when he builds this, is he sent straight to this one? Okay, here it goes. What's he going to do? He's going to sit here and build up, but he's going to go straight in this line. I think it is. This reminds me, when I first ever played the StarCraft 1 demo gears, he's got, I had no clue. My first ever... That's my first ever time I played it. Well, it's technically... I might have played Age of Empires before it, but... The thing is, I know how to play these at all. Like, I'm not good at these, as you can see from my channel. I try, and I'm a lot better than I was compared to them. Put it this way, if you know how he's just basically juicing them, sending them up. That's what I did with that demo. I literally had, like, a Marine going straight into the Zerg one after over. I played that demo. Six, seven, eight hours. Of just doing that same thing, barely running resources, and one after another, one after another, and I finally did it, and I was so happy. Years later, we put the demo on just for fun. Completely within 10 minutes. Because obviously, you don't just keep sending them in one after one as soon as they're built, and that's what he's doing. It reminds me of a very young, young, naive, even worse RTS player than I am now. Days. <laughs> and he's supposed to be the best AI. I just need to push off and screw them. Basically, you've seen the rest really at this point. Now, for me, unless you've got anything to add in the comments, I think that's a fundamental what screwed his game up. The fact that I shoved him off, he then built it there, and he just keeps sending one after the other into as soon as I built. He should be. Well, someone killed that. Again, if he was building them here and gathering a few forces up first, they would have killed that. If that's what killed them, that would kill them. Yeah, it was. It serves, yeah, one. It serves it all like they did. Oh, okay, great. He had to, oh, he had it. He had four A. But again, how many units he lost in the one over here? If they were sitting about 5, 10, 15 of them, that wouldn't have even been a problem more than this stage. Yeah. A lot of comments. What do you think um, was the fundamental reason he lost? Like I said, I believe he was shoving him off him, building that. But at the start, yes, you're trying to get him out quick to take this. Push me off. That's fair enough. But after I killed it, you then just keep sending him one at a time. You should have focused and build more here, then come in with a group, and you probably would have pushed me off. And if you could have got rid of me quick, since I'm probably I'm the weakest in this group, you've got all these resources to access to really push against the others. So with that, please. Ow, oh, just hit my knee. That hurt. Why am I making him myself when I play this game? <laughs> anyway, um, please like, please subscribe, please see you next time, and we'll do another game. This is Ava Jopia saying bye for now. We'll have a great, wonderful day. I'm Ava Jopia. Remember to like this and comment, please. Put what you think, and share this video. Let me speed this up a little bit. We'll just get to where he does. And we'll end there. And he was actually trying to build a. Uh, he was trying to get his base back up, it seems here. He just ignored the fight. He was like, I gotta do something. <laughs> we got one up, and uh, he dies. Not long from there. There. We've got the final shot on him before we end. Oh, the flame dude, no. He killed the flame dude. Explosion of flame dude, my god. Hey, he blew them up, they're too close, and small explosion had to kill them. Nice. But that's our to then. Do bomb it.